Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and oh my goodness, I'm tired. Um, I have been working outside all morning on getting those, uh, the backs of those pieces ready for farmer's market on Saturday. And I've realized how much work I actually, how many pieces I've actually made. And I have made a lot <laughs> of pieces. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of work to do getting that done, getting all those cleaned up, and I have way more than I need. But that's cool. Better to have more than you need than not enough. I'm doing uh, another one of these hair dryer swipes because um, I've been happy with them this lately, and. Um, I just wanted to do one more and then I'm going to switch to something different, but I had some paint already poured out and I thought, well, I might as well just go ahead and do that. Now, as far as mixed paint, I just mixed some more and uh, I went to Hobby Lobby and I splurged a little bit and I decided to try, they, their Master's Touch, uh, I use Master's Touch all the time, but I use regular acrylics. I've never used their thick bodied or any of that and um there's a goopy ball in there somewhere i didn't get it i still didn't get it i'm gonna get it there um anyway so um their thick body ones have some different colors some colors i like and so I thought today I'd splurge and get a couple of tubes of those and just see how they do. Um, the way I understand it is with the thick ones, you don't have to use as much paint. And I found that to be true because I mixed them and I didn't I didn't use that much. But look at how beautiful. This is cobalt teal right here. And the other one is... Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. That's cobalt turquoise. This one is cobalt teal. No, that's got to be the other way around. Okay, anyway. This one is cobalt turquoise. The other one is cobalt teal. It's got to be the way it goes. Anyway, um, I'm really excited because I love those colors. And I have mixed up a bunch of other colors too. And um, they're Caribbean looking to me. So, um, And I've made my own paint combination that's equivalent in my mind to boysenberry pigment and this is it it's um very it, it's similar anyway to me it looks like it um and it's phthalo blue and um one of the artist loft purples uh, metallic purple i think um this is gonna be a real bright one you know i got some bright colors and uh, yeah this is that thick body acrylic here you just don't need as much of it you know they're supposed to go longer go further because um, you don't need as much Let's see how that turns out um, and I also wanted to get some more reds and this is uh, I got several Liquitex reds, but this one is crimson red medium hue, um, and I really like it. It's almost a vermilion um, to me, it looks like to me, um, but it's really pretty, really bright. I really like it, and it looks really good with those colors. I'm not dumping out all of my colors, you notice. I'm going to re-drizzle again. Uh, I do have, just to kind of even things out, a little bit of, uh, this is a little bit of Payne's Gray and um, um, Blue Gray mixed together. And I don't know why I threw that in, I just did. I like the gray and red look together, um, and I thought it might balance out all this peppiness I got going on, because there's all this peppiness around it. 
and it looks really good with the red and the turquoise and this yellow. This is Liquitex um, yellow medium hue and I really like it. I have a deep hue um, that is um, Master Such and I, I like it too. Now here's my other new color. That's got to be the Cobalt Teal. Not the other way around. But look at how beautiful that color is. Oh my gosh. I'm just eating that a lot. And then the last one we have is my favorite. My One of my favorites too. My old standby, the lime green. I just think lime green peps up everything. You know, it just just makes the whole thing work. Okay. Now I want to go back and just put the last bits of all of this in here some way. I just like to have two different layerings um, of my colors and then I feel, I, I'm trying to get to a place where I feel like I'm getting all of them expressed. And so, um, um, that's what I'm trying to do. And it sort of makes me feel like I come closer to that if I do two layerings of each color. I don't know if that makes any sense. But... I like to layer. That way I feel like I'm gonna get more expression. All right. Because once you go over them once, um, you know, uh, some of them get kind of, they look like they're going to get lost. I don't know if they actually do, but they look like they're gone. It bothers me, so. Alrighty. Just a little more yellow. And then we're done with our, that's all I've got. So I hope these all get expressed, because I sure I put a, sh a lot of paint on here. Watch my language. Now, I've been putting um, silicone in my cell activator again because I forgot why we're not supposed to do that or if we're not supposed to do that or whatever, so I'm doing it again. And I did it on the last couple of pours I've done, and I thought they turned out really pretty, so I'm not, I can't remember. I know I did an experiment with that, and there was a time that I decided no more silicone in these pores at all. And I don't know why, I can't remember why I decided that, so back to the drawing board. <laughs> when your Alzheimer's exceeds, you know, um, the point where you can't remember why, what your experiments turned out to be, when your Alzheimer's exceeds your experimental, uh, your experimentation, remembrances um you know you just have to go back to the drawing board oh, technical difficulties they took my um extension cord out of here
try not to blow all of this out a whole bunch with the hair dryer. I want to do that with the stretching. And um, I blew that paint a good bit around in there, so we're going to have to wait for a minute to let it settle. I can see it moving. Um, I'm just doing, you know, like on the uh, the actual the blooms, the prototypical prototypical blooms. I've gotten to, on the bigger canvases. I got to where I'm. All I try to do is blow the cell activator out. I'm not trying to blow out all the layers of color, the rings. I'm just trying to blow out the cell activator, and I found that to work a lot better in them. And so I thought with these, maybe I should go by the same theory and just try to blow it out. Don't try to blow all of these colors and flush them out because I think it destroys the lacing if you overblow like that. I think it overblows. And um, when I just blow the cell activator out and I don't try to blow all of the layers out, I end up with better lacing, I think. And then the colors can come out when you, when you start um, stretching. So, you know, that's my theory, my working theory which means it could change at any time, but um, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm going with right now, what I'm thinking. But I've been really liking the way these pores have turned out um, lately. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what I'm doing differently that is making me like them more than I did before. Because to be honest with you, I wasn't all that fond about of all these blooms and stuff at, for a long time. I didn't even really want to fool with them in the beginning. I was just like, what's all this blowing paint with your mouth? I mean, come on. Somebody's got too much time on their hands. Um, <laughs> but then I, you know, I got into it obviously, but um, look at that, that's pretty. Um, Anyway, I, I just, um, I just want to experiment with it and take it as far as we can, do as much with it as we can do. You know, that's why I wanted to do the big canvases and, um, you know, the different kinds of pours and, you know, because it's an interesting medium, it really is, and it's flexible in some ways and not flexible in other ways. And um, I just really like the the intensity of the color that you get with this pouring medium, the the beautiful colors and the lacing. It's just, um, I, needless to say, I'm I like it now. I just was resistant at first. I'm not really sure why. I don't want to lose all those cells just trying to get this cover corner covered because those are some really pretty cells down there. I'm loving my new colors, my teal, cobalt, and turquoise, whatever. I can't remember the names of them, and I just looked at them. My Alzheimer's is bad. There is something right there. What in the hell is that? And where did it come from? Because I just now, this is a brand new canvas. It must have come out of the pillow paint somehow. I'm gonna blame it on the pillow paint. I think that's beautiful and uh, I'm not going to mess with it anymore <sighs> too many colors I don't know I don't think so is there such a thing I don't know I like it all right um, I will have to unplug this but that's okay yes it's my son that's run off with my extension cord this time. I don't know why. Alright. 
There we go. Now y'all see. Let's have a look up close. All right, camera, do your thing. Look at those sails. Oh my gosh. I think it's beautiful. All right. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed it because I've been out there using my sander all day and I needed to do something different. But I enjoyed it. And um, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for supporting my channel. I really appreciate that. I'm working really hard and I appreciate y'all helping me out. It means a lot to me. Um, and I will, uh, you know, I make videos every day if you're uh, new, uh, every day. So there's always new content coming out. And uh, I'm not done for the day. I've, I'll do several more before the day's over because this is what I do. So y'all have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you next time.